Yo, bro, have you ever seen the movie Coming to America? Uh, I get it all the time. No, bro. okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, yeah, no. do you use that stuff? You gotta use some kind of... Nah. Oh, it's all natural. natural. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, my life defender really? would be good. Yeah. Alright, let me get a black and mild. Black and mild, uh, uh, you want a pack or just a single? Just single. Yeah, which one? Uh, jazzy wood tip. Yeah. Uh, wood tip, I got jazz, I got only a plastic. That's fine. That's fine. How much? I get this shit all the time. Yeah, no, I do. Like <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, once you said it, have yeah, you ever seen pull, like, 580? I pull Lenny Kravitz off. No, Lenny like, Kravitz a lot too. Really? Yeah, uh, Rick James. Uh, what about what about Lionel Richie? Lionel Richie all the time. Yeah. So if you have to uh, shake my face down. Yeah, dude, you look yeah. like Lionel. That's not like I, I get it all right the fucking. Bye. How many demon girls are there? say buy it now and next year by the way of the numbers it should go up to six hundred dollars so if you spend twenty dollars and twenty divided into a thousand is five hundred stock each one of those goes up six hundred dollars so six hundred times five is what that's what it is Another thing they talk about too, the European people will be the second in six years for the 500 is what? 30, 
it's like thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. So one year you can make a fucking salary, and then the next year it will go up, maybe not that much, it'll go up like ten thousand. So if you spend a thousand dollars, you can make thirty thousand fucking dollars. Send me a thousand dollars, I'll send you a thank you and call you my best friend. Okay, Jester. How about this? If you tell me what stock to invest in, I'll put a I'll put a hundred million dollars in it. If you give me the if you run me a stock that you have invested right now, I'll I'll put a hundred million dollars into it. Yeah. And then you can get a thousand dollars and you send me fucking like ten, you send me like a hundred dollars. You cash out me a hundred dollars. How about this? If you're How about this? If you give me an abbreviation and I look up the stock, I can invest a hundred million dollars into it. And then whatever dividends you get off of it. You give me a hundred dollars. A thousand dollars, like I said, a thousand dollars. You invest a thousand dollars. I bet you you can invest it in the fucking stock market. Here. And it's risky. Okay, you give me a thousand dollars and I'll make you fucking thirty thousand. I'll give you I'll give you a thousand dollars back in like a, a year. You give me a thousand dollars, I'll make you a thousand dollars in less than probably three months. But that's all you get. You get your money back. It'll sell a little bit of money back. But that's it. Thousand dollars right now. You put in a DJT, it's twenty-three dollars. You get five hundred. Uh, I get like four hundred and seventy-five shares. Every probably every year it goes up twenty-three dollars. Watch this. I'll bet you this. Just like Tesla, when Tesla was like zero or three dollars, now it's like four hundred dollars. These people bought it like like seventeen years ago. When I was in high school, I was looking at it. It was like three dollars. So I'm telling you, at this one stock at twenty-three dollars, it will go up to like six hundred dollars because the S and P went down and Nasdaq went up. So you got to look at it like this: when the Nasdaq goes up, everything goes up because the Nasdaq are the guys giving us the money. And that's why I don't care if I lose anybody's money. What if I lose anybody's money? Every day I lose fucking like 100 grand. I have one account.
Even if you put 500 bucks and you split it up in like you know, 30, 30, 30, by the time you're 50 years old, if you're 20 now, 30 years, you probably have around $3 million in the bank from this one investment. You do an index fund, buy the stock now, after three months, you can pull a dividend. Yeah. 
Sell that property, it's gone. That's your investment. Long term. So, long term investments, you don't actually have to. If you pull out the dividends, you kind of screw yourself over and compound. But if you have compound interest building up on a snowball, like I said, it's like throwing a meatball and watching the snow cover it. And it's like watching a, a you know, like a, like a, like a, like an avalanche hit you after the little meatball came into the snowball position. So what you want to do is compound interest after a million. It's like you're, you're, you're pulling in thousands. But like, think about it like this. If you have $2.5 million and make 50 grand, after 10 years, you basically flip that $2.5 million. So you can make it around like 100 grand. 120 grand a year. Or another one, if you this one's even cheaper. If you go buy a piece of land, say you go buy a piece of land for like two thousand dollars. Let's say you buy for ten thousand dollars or hundred grand. As soon as that land up in twenty years, I think it'll be at a hundred grand worth of fucking five million dollars. But again, you can use the land. You can build structures on it as long as you get building codes and you have a contractor's fucking license and a you know, fucking, you know, like you have a crew of people that will build this house. But then once you start building, you can probably develop your own piece of land. If you have a hundred piece of land, you can just start building fucking little houses. And I'm talking little houses. I'm talking like fucking 500 square foot houses. Line those fuckers up and $150,000 and have like a gated area. And then you got like $8,000 houses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would say buy the land is the most. The most. I would say buying the piece of land is the cheapest way to do it because they don't know how you spent the money. They don't know where the fuck you got the money. They don't even ask questions. You go there, but you have to get the deed. You have to go to a bank. So what I would do is I wouldn't just go there and say, give me the piece of land. What I would do is liens on the, um, on the piece of land. And as soon as there's no liens on the land, you go right to the bank and you say, you know, transfer this over. And they give you a piece of paper, they transfer over, they have some guy that comes out there and stakes all the property, and then it's a piece of pretty much your land. And then every day, you know, you sit there and, like I said, I would do maintenance on it. I'd go there and, like, you know, you know, mow the grass and shit or just do some kind of daily maintenance on it like I do. And after, like, 10 years, that fucking 10,000 piece of dollar land probably worth, like, 100 grand. So you're looking at, like, probably, like, you know, 100% gains after people start realizing they have to, you know, buy a piece of land. Okay, guys, like, guys, watch all the other videos for information on how to get the inside information on the stocks and housing and investments.